got what did you get for your um, I um, when I looked down the feet were bare but they were very large dark skin native uh, Native American um, buckskin pants uh, long black hair uh, very um, big tall broad you know um, big stature I guess and um, got the sense that I was the chief but there was no headdress and then it kind of came that I was replacing the chief because the chief had, had passed um, but was still not um, officially the, the, the chief whatever um, had to take place for that but um, a huge carrying the weight of the world just very solemn and, and the responsibility. Yes, just sad and, and carrying the knowledge that um, uh, I felt I had to protect the others and it, that I shouldn't share it with them because it was sort of a, a helpless, hopeless situation. And, but then we were um, we were meeting and, and as I was going into it, it's like, you know, I don't think I should share, should I share? You know that there's nothing that they can do it's it just it was all very um, doom and gloom but then there was a flash of myself as a boy out like there was a, a river and a forest and you know swinging from a, a tree into the water and, and um, fun there so that the childhood must have been fun mm -hmm. um, and then you went to high learning or oh, no to your home did you go to your home? Yes, actually, yeah. It was a, um, a, a large teepee, um, a younger woman that I think was wife, and then there was a, a young boy and a young girl just playing by the by the fire. Did um, you recognize any of the souls? No. Mm -hmm. No. And, um, like, there was, there was love, but there was no, like, a, they also were carrying, I don't think they knew what was going on, but they knew that I was deeply disturbed by something. So they were, like, as soon as I came in, the two kids just, you know, quieted right down. And, um, and the wife was just sort of watching me, reading for signs. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then I like going into this meeting, but then that's when you took us up for the, the higher, uh, learning. higher learning. And um, it, it was that I wasn't meant to carry it all myself. That I, um, I don't need to be responsible for the entire tribe. There would be, you know, more heads could, could perhaps come up with a, um, a resolution, a mm -hmm. solution. Was the next because so I so you brought that back down to apply it <laughs> oh yes yes and um, there must have been a resolution because then I was I was happier that I was conversing with the men of the tribe instead of walking through and everyone you know like steering clear of me and um, the family was happy the kids would run and jump up into my arms when you know um, mm -hmm. to greet me when I came in so it was the right decision to you know allow others in and not to carry that, that mm. weight and that burden myself. Share the burden. Uh -huh. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. And so then you went up again or to the death scene? Um, yeah, just a, a lot of respect, a lot of um, sadness, but um, sort of a happy celebration too. Mm. Yeah. And then you went up into high learning for the current incarnation. Yes, and that is that um, I don't need to be responsible for anybody other than myself. And life will be a lot more fun when I let that all go. Mm -hmm. So you brought it back down and applied it and took it out into the future? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't clear. There was just a sense of release and relief and I have a choice mm -hmm. of whether I wish to sit with my feet up and read a book, or if I wish to, you know, work and take on more clients and, and do whatever I need to do, but it's not, I don't have to 
carry it all, do it all. I can I can choose. Mm -hmm. Great. Awesome. That felt good. Yeah. Was there a color involved with that? Uh, a lot of gold, yellow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, bold yellow is about releasing the fear and confusion. Great, well done. How did you go with mining your car? Uh, good, I think. I was a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, heaven forbid. <laughs> <laughs> In my late 20s, I think, uh, the name Josephine uh, came up at first from my parents in Germany. It was the location I got, a very simple bungalow. Um, my, my parents were older, sitting at the table. There, I was out with with friends. The clothes had changed. Um, socializing over drinks, a lot of laughs, a lot of just love and fun, and all that was coming up. And then I was performing on stage in front of um, soldiers, mm. and very confident, gorgeous voice, just doing what I what I loved. And then when we went to um, to death surrounded with love again with my uh, my adult children and grandchildren uh, seems like it was a, a, a great life um, the message that came through is um, when you're honoring um, when you're happy and you're honoring yourself then uh, and also serving others uh, then um, speaking and singing from a place of love then your throat and your uh, life will support you mm -hmm. The color that came through at the end was a lot of white, just beautiful white, white light. Mm -hmm. And the message was, um, it's time for me to uh, to be happy, express myself freely. Um, I have everything within me that I need. I just need to honor myself and trust that that's enough, and I will be supported. And be joyful in that as well. Yes. The joy of the yeah, yeah. socializing and celebrating. And that came through very, very, mm -hmm. very strongly. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, because there was I used to to sing, like perform, mm -hmm. and I ended up with uh, notes on my vocal cords when I was forty, and that just shut everything down. And my throat's always been my weak spot. That's so. Yeah, there's a there's yeah, bring joy yeah. to it, mm -hmm. bring joy and playfulness back to it. Yeah, that's Lovely. the goal. Lovely, mm -hmm. excellent.